Andre Corbier. That's right. This is Petey Williams' definition of definition of Maple Leaf Muscle. And I need you to subscribe to Andre Colbill on YouTube. We got the hardcore legend, an icon in this industry, none other than Mick Foley. DDP better put some damn clothes on or I'll whoop his ass. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold said so. AKA formerly Brodus Clay the Funkasaurus, and you do know that. Ladies and gentlemen, YouTube subscribers, one wrestling fans tuning in worldwide. My name is Andre Corbeil, your official Impact Wrestling, one wrestling.com reporter, right here at the home of the legend, the home of the icon, the one and only Bill Apter. Now, thank you, wrestling fans, for supporting one wrestling.com, Andre Corbeil, Big Ray, Bill Schuyler, Billy Ray Valentine, and all of us here at one wrestling.com, one wrestling video, and one wrestling on Twitter. You can follow me at Andre underscore Corbeil on Twitter, Big Ray at Big Ray Show, Bill Apter at Apter One Wrestling, Bill Schuyler at You Got the Show, and thank you guys. Now, Bound for Glory, TNA's signature pay per view, the biggest stage of them all for the company, comes to us this Sunday live. October 12, 2014 from Tokyo, Japan. And hey, it sure doesn't feel like the largest pay-per-view from this company as there's been a lackluster build. It mainly seems like Wrestle One has basically taken the helm and basically booked this pay-per-view. No Bobby Roode. No Bobby Lashley. No Eric Young. No Austin Aries. No Bram. I could go on and on and on of the TNA talents that will be MIA this Sunday in Tokyo, Japan, but I digress. I'm still going to get the pay-per-view because I'm a knowledgeable, passionate wrestling reporter, and I know you guys are knowledgeable, passionate wrestling fans too, and I bet you a lot of you guys tuning into this prediction video from Andre Corbeil are going to get the pay-per-view too this Sunday. Anyway, I digress. Let's roll on. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, on this interactive social media network, I want to hear your opinions, your comments, your predictions, and your thoughts pertaining and relating to Bound for Glory. Anyway, let's roll on and move into this video, not in any order, pertaining or relating to the card. Now, TNA Hall of Fame induction. Yes, we're going to get Bully Ray and Devon inducted in the TNA Hall of Fame, getting those Rolex watches. Now, it's no secret that Bully Ray and Devon were highly responsible for putting President TNA Dixie Carter through a table, so I don't think we're going to usually going to get... Uh, we're going to get what we usually get, the, tra the traditional Dixie Carter presentation of those gold Rolex watches. Maybe Jeremy Borash or a friend of Bully Ray and Devon will do this presentation. Deservedly so, they're the most decorated tag team in pro wrestling history, and they enter the Hall of Fame this weekend in Tokyo, Japan. Now, the main event for this pay-per-view is one of my top ten favorite wrestlers of all time growing up, none other than the great Muda. Yes, and Tajiri is tag team partner as they take on the Revolution members, James, the Cowboy Storm, and the Great Sonata. Yes, the student, the one that the Great Muda mentored, and now James Storm mentors. Now, I'm going against the grain here, ladies and gentlemen. I think the Revolutions, Sonata and Storm, are going to pull out the victory here this Sunday at Bound for Glory. Comment below. Let me know who you think is going to win the match. And we roll on. Yeah, Team 3D not only are going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, they're going to face, yeah, Tommy Dreamer and Abyss. Now, this is strange. We all know that Tommy Dreamer is the best friend of Bully Ray. So, I honestly think, yeah, Team 3D goes out in style here, and Abyss is going to be attacked by Tommy Dreamer. It just doesn't make any sense. Now, we were all expecting to see the Wolves versus 3D or the Hardys, but... Let's face it, Davy Richards, he hasn't uh, rehabbed properly. Well, not properly. He hasn't rehabbed quick enough, and his leg is still injured. So he's MIA. So is Eddie Edwards at this pay-per-view this Sunday as well. So, yeah, Team 3D gets the win. Tommy Dreamer, don't know what he's going to do. I might get an interview with him this month coming sometime, and we'll see. 
And uh, yeah, enough of that. Samoa Joe versus Loki versus Kaz Hayashi for the X Division Championship. And I honestly think that this is going to be a possible match of the night. And again, Andre Corbiel is going against the grain here. I think Loki wins the title here in Tokyo, Japan. And hey, no disrespect to Samoa Joe, who's been a fine champion. I just, I, I feel it. I feel Loki's going to win. Anyway, I digress, and we're going to roll on with the young Ethan Carter III, the, nep the nephew of Dixie Carter, taking on Ryota Hama. Now, Ethan Carter's undefeated wrestling fans, and I honestly don't see Hama being the man to end the streak for Ethan Carter III. So EC3 wins here in Tokyo, Japan. Now, MVP, yeah, strong style, is going to face... Yeah, Kazma Sakamoto. Now, MVP needs a win really, really bad here. And I think Sunday is the time he pulls it out in Tokyo, Japan, as the former New Japan Pro Wrestling star returns to a country he loves so much and wrestling a fighting strong style that he loves so much as well. So, yeah, MVP gets the win here over Ryota. Now, Manic. Is he going to win? Is Minoru Tanaka going to win? Tanaka gets the win here. I don't see Manic going over uh, unless unless the revolution gets involved. Who knows? But I honestly think that uh, Wrestle 1 is going to need some wins here. So I'm picking Tanaka to uh, get the win here. Now, rolling on with our TNA Knockouts Championship match. The dominant, the strong, the brutal Havoc takes on the lovely, the beautiful Velvet Sky. Now... I think Havoc's actually going to crush Velvet Sky here and continue to steamroll on as Knockout's champion. I don't think Velvet Sky needs the title, and um, I think the title's around the right woman's race, waist. I, I'm a big Gail Kim fan. You guys all know that. And I was honestly cheering for the title to be put on Havoc, and I was rooting for Havoc. And I'm really, really happy that the title is around her waist, and I don't see any reason for her to be stripped of the title or defeated for the title in this case at Bound for Glory Sunday. Now there may be another match or two or some dark matches added. Who knows? We're going to have to wait and see. I'm going to get the pay-per-view because I'm a knowledgeable, passionate wrestling reporter. I support TNA and I hope you support TNA too this Sunday from Tokyo, Japan as Bound for Glory. Wrestle 1, total non-stop action, bring you some cutting-edge wrestling. So I hope they hit a home run here, but... It's questionable with all of the top-tiered talent that's going to be MIA for this pay-per-view this Sunday. Andre Corbeil, your official OneWrestling.com reporter, coming at you. Support us all here. OneWrestling.com. One Wrestling Video. One Wrestling on Twitter. Andre Corbeil on Twitter. At Can-Am Wrestling on Twitter. You can follow Big Ray and I. And speaking of Big Ray, Big Ray's Wrestling Show on Twitter. You got the show, our Can-Am Wrestling Show counterpart. And last but not least, the legend, the icon, our mentor, the one and only Bill Apter, the OneWrestling.com family. And hey, support our private channels on the side as well, because you know the score, you know the drill. We're all in this for one thing. What's that, everybody? Wrestling. Peace, and thanks for supporting the channel. Bound for glory, please deliver, please deliver. Peace. Andre Corbio. That's right. This is Petey Williams' definition of definition of Maple Leaf Muscle. And I need you to subscribe to Andre Colville on YouTube. We got the hardcore legend, an icon in this industry, none other than Mick Foley. DDP better put some damn clothes on or I'll whoop his ass. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold said so. AKA formerly Brodus Clay the Funkasaurus, and you do know that. We'll see you at the matches.